here of my Alice Chalmers 5015. This is a 1983 model. Uh, kind of hard to find videos of these online, so I figured I'd do one. Uh, there's a couple for sale now and again, but did a uh, full engine overhaul at about 1200 hours on it painted it I bought some I got lucky I bought some wheel weights and uh, wheel weights can line up in the hub holes if you get the right weights it's kind of a universe somewhat universal weight there three point this is an 18 horse tractor with 15 horse PTO pretty good uh, homeowner model the loader is the original loader it only does about 600 pounds that'll get it a little off the ground they, they couldn't lift much these size tractors back in the day so definitely not doing a thousand pounds with it but it's been pretty handy can run you guys through some of the uh, some of the problems I've run into and ways I fixed it it's got a subframe kit on it these beams here near the three-point this beam here that runs all the way on the tractor frame and that fits a Kelly B10A backhoe uh, I don't believe there's an original backhoe for this tractor but this is a pretty good unit I think it's 650 700 pounds uh, it'll dig pretty good Got the rear blade that I'm working on in the York Creek. But I want to show you when I originally got the tractor, I had a problem that took me forever to figure out. And I was getting air into the fuel pump. I had the fuel pump rebuilt, I had the injectors rebuilt, you know, new head. The, the engine's been completely apart. But, uh, and it was still racing, uh, a lot of white smoke. So I had an electric fuel pump right there. And it adds fuel, low, low fuel pressure. You can see the model, or I got it off Amazon, I forget the brand, but just a low amount of pressure to the fuel filter. And that actually will leak a little fuel out, but it does not let air in anymore because of the pump, you, air used to get in. So, I uh, put a switch on that pump so it just turns on when I want it to after I get it started. That solved all my problems. It's been running fine ever since. Another problem I've seen on YouTube, uh, one guy was selling his. He said it was doing blow-by because there was oil coming out of the breather hose. Uh, I don't believe that's correct uh, since I just overhauled mine. The original ble bleeder hose angled down so oil would splash out into the hose from the valve cover and I'd always have oil leaking out of that breather hose I just recently like last weekend just bought a uh, ra small radiator hose and I, now I have it angled up I don't know if you could tell there I have it angled up instead uh, going out I send it out the front and uh, I don't have any appear to have any more oil leaking I had some cardboard in there just to check but those were two uh, Two of the big issues I solved, but uh, the other big thing is uh, I I broke. That's called the unleak device right there on the side of the fuel pump. That and I bent the pin. I got the pump overhauled. You can the device. This device won't break if you take the pump out. When you but when you put it back in, the I bent the pin. So I got a new one. From another well used one from uh, Western Kentucky tractor which is a good source um, but it needs to be adjusted for this tractor with a PTO dynamometer which not a lot of people have those around anymore uh, so I've been playing around with it it starts pretty good kind of somewhat controls the fuel air mixture people say I realize that's not correct on a diesel but uh, so I'm kind of close on that it's running good enough. 
Um, another good source of parts for overhaul, if you guys don't know, is uh, Southern Global. Com. They have a lot of parts for these Japanese. You're going to get Chinese parts typically, but for these uh, smaller Japanese tractors, that's a good source. You know, new battery, got new battery cables on it. But four wheel drive, the thing goes pretty good. It's hard to stop it in the snow. And it'll move dirt. I definitely had to do a new exhaust and a new uh, exhaust extension. To get the exhaust out of your face uh forget the uh, online where i got the exhaust but you can find it leaks a little tranny fluid but you got a tractor this old it done leak you got problems so everything works on her i just had her running let's see if we can get her fired up again do a little glow turn it the other way obviously for glow plugs I kick on my auxiliary fuel pump so I don't get air. You can tell if you're getting air because you'll have white smoke. I got nothing right now. That's as clear as can be. That's just my 3.5 rattling. I also changed out the headlights. You can get these LED lights off Amazon. Much better than the originals. Uh, I got a solar battery charger on it. I also have a uh, radiator heater uh, in the lower radiator hose, but I'm getting ready to try a, uh, a Wolverine oil pan heater. You can find those on Amazon. I'll do another video on installing that. Of course, you got to have your safety triangle. So, it'll go. It's got high, low, and crawl. Shut it down a little bit. It's turned pretty good. It's got high, low, and crawl, and uh, four gear, three gears, you know, three, third, second, first, and reverse. And you got your four wheel drive too, but uh, pretty good unit. Pretty handy, helped us get our patio done, uh, etc. Anybody who owns a tractor knows how handy they are, so. That's a quick rundown do some other videos digging and stuff but just want to do an overview so we'll post this online and i hope you guys enjoy it and uh hope it helps you work out some of the problems